Part models. They're the foundation of every 3D design in SOLIDWORKS. They are a product's building blocks, which represent the geometry and capture the intent of how each piece of a designer's creativity will be manufactured. The new 3D texture feature transforms 2D pictures to 3D geometry. The resulting graphics body can then be used for additive manufacturing or enhancing visual appearances. Let's take a quick look at an example of knurling. Now, knurling is typically a diamond-like texture machined on a gripping surface. Here you see a foot peg from the Irby Sport personal electric vehicle. How do we represent this in SOLIDWORKS? Well, the most basic way is to specify a note on a 2D drawing. I don't capture the actual geometry, but I can indicate it enough to get it machined. However, I can't experience it until it comes back from the shop. I can apply more realistic visual representations with real view appearances, or even more real, I can render with displacement map and experience the knurling virtually using SOLIDWORKS Visualize. But this is still an illusion, isn't it? It's not actually modeled in 3D. Now, with 2019, I have a feature to make this texture come to life with no modeling required. I will drag and drop a simple 2D grayscale image onto a face, just like a decal or an appearance. With the 3D Texture command, I generate the knurling in 3D. I specify a few parameters which control the underlying meshing technology, as well as the intensity of the texture. You can see the diamond points of the knurling quite well here. This is much faster than parametric modeling of the knurling, which is overkill, especially in the prototype phase. In the concept phase, 3D texture is a shortcut for generating a variety of textures and geometry. Common use cases could include grips, complex patterns, aesthetic surfaces, really anything with texture or something that's just too complex to model in the beginning. I can use this resulting body directly for 3D printing. Uh, think about prototyping creative options. Emerging 3D printing business models could be enhanced with this functionality. For example, mass customization, which is one-off products precisely adjusted to the needs of buyers. Remember the Myomo Orthotic from SOLIDWORKS 2017 launch? A component like this armband might be printed for each patient, so we might as well add our logo and branding to this part. A fun example I explored was taking a flat scan of my hand, and I was able to create a pretty cool custom grip. This could be 3D printed and the ergonomics would be perfect for me. 3D texture is part of SOLIDWORKS' broader strategy to embrace the evolution of design for 3D printing. 3D texture requires converting the work body into a mesh body to apply the texture. The result can be saved right to STL for 3D printing. The original solid B-Rep body is hidden. You can continue to convert to a solid mesh body and leverage the workflows enabled by 2018. Part modeling, it's all about the flexibility of creating geometry and speed in capturing accurate design intent.